welcome to a stream that has actually been going on for quite some time. Uh, this is actually a Redux Redux. <laughs> Um, let me see. There was something that I was trying to do, and I can't remember what. Uh, turn that off. Hmm. Oh, no wonder. I'm like, why the hell is my webcam working? It's not plugged in. Uh, joining me today is uh, a friend that you all know. You there, Tom? Awesome. Uh, let me see. I. We are playing a childhood favorite of mine, uh, Legend of Lagaya. Everything was legend of something or other. Uh, you're very close on both of those. This is actually a RPG that was um, heavily overshadowed by uh, two games that came out during the time. Um, which was, um, Legend of Dragoon and Final Fantasy VII. So. I would actually be down to play that a game again, because, uh, if I'm not mistaken... <clears throat> hold on. God created the heavens, the earth, and the seas. After creating all things in the universe... God created humans to rule over this world. Yet while possessing the wisdom of God, humans were physically weaker than the wild beasts and impulsive in spirit. Many times did the humans come close to dying out forever. Concerned about the humans' future, God gave them a mighty force with which to aid them. <laughs> it was... The Seru. Since the dawn of human memory, known as history, humans lived together with creatures known as Seru. The Seru lived together with humans, always obeying them and making the humans many times stronger than before. Right? Give the text some time to crawl up. <clears throat> when not worn by a human, a Seru looks much like a stone figure. However, upon touching a human, a Seru changes form and gives that human secret abilities. With a Seru, a human can lift objects heavier than itself and even fly in the air at will. However, that era came to an end. Appearing from out of nowhere, the mist covered the land, bringing to an end, bringing to an end prosperous symbiosis between human and Seru. Fuck, I cannot read. After the thick mist came, the Seru who once obeyed humans rebelled against them. The Seru began attacking humans at will. Seru that attach themselves to humans control their minds and turn them into evil beasts. Fuck, that text, that text crawl was faster than anything else. As if forsaken by God, human civilization collapsed. It was the twilight of humanity. So, oh. Those who escaped the mist inhabited the desolate areas and protected each other. Now their faint hope is their only source of inspiration.
Oh, dude, I, I like I Jones so hard over this game. It's so good. Damn! Look at them graphics. A r <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. One second. Un momento, por favor. Okay, so, first things first, we're going to name this dude. His name is Vaughn. I don't care. We're sticking with uh, regular names. Vaughn of the Dawn, who mows the lawn. I did not. Interesting. So, uh... Oh, sorry, go ahead. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so do we want to do voices for this? Uh, sure, let's do voices. Do you want to be the village elder or do you want me to be him? It was his favorite tree. <laughs> uh, was I or was I not? Oh, hold on. For some reason, they can't hear you. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, right? You want to know why? Okay, say God, something, Tom. How's that? Am I winning? Becky, can you be hear him? I want people to hear that. <laughs> okay, now we can hear you. For some reason, OBS was like, Hey, man, uh, you know how you usually have you know, stuff coming through uh, your TV? Well, how about we don't do that? Ah, uh, were they getting the game sound too? Nope. Oh. Now everything is they coming through. Yes. Okay. Making sure. We gotta have this classic 90 eras track up. Right? This, this hand foot music. The, <laughs> I was gonna say this stock village music from 1995. Nah, man, this is slow bop Peruvian <laughs> hits number five, trust me. <laughs> All right, so you want to read your village elder real quick, and I'll choose. Uh oh, sure. Uh, Vaughn, tomorrow you will become a hunter. Don't. Were you praying successful hunt? Uh, yeah, sure, dude. That is good. And I too would pray for. <laughs> Vaughn thought I would come here to cheer you up. But I guess that wasn't necessary. You will be a fine hunter. I was gonna say, so I brought this little girl for some reason. <laughs> I'm counting on you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Hello, little demon child with red eyes. What the fuck? No, no, this is an anime game. She's the hero. Uh, 
Uh, There's one moves. thing I know about anime. <laughs> people with red eyes have superpowers and are protagonists. And people with blue hair are also protagonists. I mean, you're not wrong. Also, I like how they have a best equipment button, so you don't have to, like, you know, trouble yourself with trying to learn how to itemize. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, hey man, we'll just do it for you. I mean, that's a good addition. I've seen them add it to things like uh, RPG Maker and yeah, like, the auto-equip is really nice. But yeah, back then... Fred, when you go hunting outside the wall tomorrow, bring me back a souvenir! Uh, you wanna be a little demon child? Fine, I love the Genesis. Me too! Jesus, thank you, demon child. <laughs> Why did she show up with the village elder and, like, he does not know or say anything about her? <laughs> She's just there, she doesn't even leave with him. Ah, yes, me. Um... <clears throat> Vaughn, I was looking for you. So, you were praying at the Genesis tree. It's about hunting clothes for you to wear tomorrow. Uh, what hunting clothes? Is something wrong? What hunting clothes? I was planning on going in the buff. You're terrible. I can't believe you forgot. After all the trouble I went through to make them for you, to wear hunting tomorrow. <laughs> what are we saying, Tom? Oh no, you want to be a dick. I was just joking, haha. -ha. That's a mean joke. I was really angry for a minute. Anyway. I'm almost finished, but I have to check some of the measurements. So, can I measure you one more time? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Vaughn, you're so kind. Measure this dick. <laughs> I'll be at your house waiting for you, so don't be too I late. I can't believe how big it is either. <laughs> I measure it every morning. <laughs> just surprising every time. Just good, <laughs> wholesome family fun. <laughs> oh, it's you, Vaughn. The hunter should be returning shortly, so I'm waiting here. Thank you, Jersey Grandma. Jersey Grandma. Thought it was another child at first. <laughs> uh, this dude's name is... is Now, is he part of Organization 13 and his name Psy or Is? Or Issy? Isis? Ixis? Isis? Isis? Va <laughs> Vaughn, so I hear you're going out on the hunt tomorrow. No? Who fucking told you that shit? Hey, you're not being honest, uh huh? You can tell me the truth. Admit it, you're glad to leave the village to hunt as one of the adults, aren't you? I literally just told you no, I'm not. Yeah, but, like, who are you lying to? <laughs> the village of people who all know each other. He's always complaining. He used to be strong and tough, but now... Uh, you not fulfilling your wife's needs, buddy? <laughs> well, I mean, there's two dudes in here. How do you know which one? Oh, Vaughn, will you listen to what yeah. a pathetic man like me has to say? You see that guy with the teal hair? I hide behind that shutter every day and watch him as he copulates with my wife. Cuck man, I say. You will. I'm glad. You're such a good child, Vaughn. It's a story about something that happened many years ago when I was out on the hunt. It reminded me of the hunt. <laughs> we caught much game. I was in high spirits, so happy that I dropped my guard. Suddenly, the wind changed direction and the mist came. I thought we would escape, but it was too late. The Siri monsters came from the mist and attacked us. That's how I ended up like this. I survived, but could never go out on the hunt again. Now listen, Vaughn, never underestimate the mist. The mist is a terrifying thing. <laughs> he took an arrow to the knee, so now he's a town guard. Yep. No, no. Vaughn, do not get too close to the wall. What you gonna do, Mr. Lawman? All right, I'm done. Ah, yes. All right. The save cave. cave. Oh, wait, excuse me, hello? Look, Vaughn, that is the memory statue. The memory statue will remember things for you. What you feel, what you experience with your body, everything. Oh, boy. <laughs> You'll never forget that. <laughs> Talk to the memory statue to save important memories. So, uh... Some things don't need to be remembered. I wonder if I have any save data on this card, this digital card. 
Oh, would you look at that? I actually do. And then I have used data. Alright, uh, pick a character. We got Noah, Gala, um, the Byron Monks, May, uh, Demon Child. Uh, Demon Child it is. Can't go wrong with cat ears. Or we have Dent Head, Mc... like, blank Mr. eyes. Peanut, but no. Demon Child? Yep. Oh, hold on. Uh, I actually don't need OBS up and running anymore. there'd be like a temple surrounding the floating magic rock saves our memory leave it in a cave under the cliff who knows hold on a second There we go. Okay, sorry, I was trying to make a small post. Not a problem. Okay. <clears throat> so, now that we've saved... Uh, I think this is the general store? Fuck. The controls... Okay, so I was trying to use the thumbsticks, and the thumbsticks don't exactly work too well on this. I mean, you can do shit like this, but it actually works on the 8 axis and not, like, you know, the full rotational, uh, axis. So, we're just gonna use the D-pad. Fair. Sobbing. Silence. Silence. Oh, little the Vaughn. Sound of silence. You saw me crying. How embarrassing. Long ago, I had a shop here. I sold many different weapons. <laughs> While I was cleaning, I began to remember those days and suddenly started to cry. Oh, the days that I sold instruments of murder. <laughs> Someday, if the mist clears and all the people come back, I'll be able to open my shop again. Vaughn, you must promise to shop at my store, alright? And if you don't, I'll fucking kill you with one of the weapons that I sell. <laughs> was there that much more violence going on back when you had the magical machines doing all the labor for you? I mean, <laughs> I figured with the mist here and the monsters, that would be much more important than, you know, the peace times with the robots? I mean, yeah, like, the market would be booming now. Hey, man, the, e and demand. the evil demons are attacking, but, you know, I remember the days that I used to sell weapons during times of peace. See, they used to sell better because we would feed on people's fear of war and advertise that way, right? <laughs> well, you need this in case something bad happens. So. There are multiple demon children. Wait, are they those... Look the same. <laughs> those are the exact children. two. <laughs> They're twins. Hey, Vaughn, May is your girlfriend, right? <laughs> This little child is calling me a little <laughs> devil. Vaughn, you're going hunting tomorrow with the adults. Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you, child. Now that I have your permission, I guess I'm going hunting tomorrow with the adults. Just wanted to clear it with the boss first. <laughs> yeah, it's you, Vaughn. What do you want from an old man like me? 
Do you want to ask me something? Yeah, sure. What do you want to ask me about? Tell me about the Seru, tell me about the mist, tell me about the wall. What do you want to know about, Tom? I don't know. But I've seen Game of Thrones, so I know about the wall. Let's go with the mist. Well, the mist itself poses no danger to us. It's just like the coronavirus and those conspiracy theorists. <laughs> nah, actually, take coronavirus seriously. Stay inside. Watch me be an idiot on stream, please. <laughs> but when... self-promotion in that one, huh? Yeah, got it, dude. But when touched by the mist, the Seru become demons. Horrible, murdering monsters! Like that woman over there by the stove! Ah! Kill her! <laughs> Do that to your wife. In the mist, the Seru take on a will of their own and, uh, and attack people. But that is not all. The person who wears a Seru has, as a weapon becomes possessed by Seru and himself becomes a monster. Vaughn, tomorrow you will travel outside the wall as one of these hunters. Now listen. <coughs> Beware of the mist. We humans are no match for the mist or, the, or for the Seru monsters. When the mist appears, flee. That is the only way to protect yourself from it. Shall I tell you about something else? Like the suppositories that I took this morning? Vaughn, tomorrow you go out on the hunt. Watch out for the mist. Thanks, dude. You just literally repeated the same, like, dialogue twice. Vaughn, since you are to leave for the hunt tomorrow, you must learn more about the mist and the Seru. Uh, Jesus Christ, people. You think it's important that I learn about this shit? That one's wearing a hat. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Hey, old man, what you do? Everything the world's loaded up about, so it uh, could be important. What are these old people doing with magic leaves in their cupboard? Magic tea, bro. Vaughn now has the magic leaf. Ah, yeah. Hello. Very good. It's like canned. It's canned dialogue, Vaughn. Tomorrow you go out on the hunt. Watch out for the mist. Thank you, NPC number three hundred. For telling me the exact same thing NPC number two told me. Oh, it's the village elder. Go ahead. Tom, that's you. Oh, sorry, didn't realize. Ah, it's you, Vaughn. I'm glad you came. Tomorrow you become a hunter, man, and must travel outside the village to hunt. Yeah, thanks for telling me and, like, everyone else in the fucking village. I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but do be very careful. Ugh. So, fun story about how I came into contact with this game for the first time. Hold on. Vaughn, your father Val, oh wow, has a very was a very courageous hunter. Man, the naming conventions in this game. It's so unfortunate he hurt his leg in that accident and had to become a town guard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vaughn, you must take good care of your father. So, yeah, when I was, like, seven, my aunt went to Blockbuster and rented, like, Duke Nukem, some other... Uh, she, she rented Duke Nukem, uh, Quake, and uh, this. And she let me play this because she was like, oh, this looked kind of neat, so I thought you would enjoy it. Sure enough... I took to this game hard, and I was just like, oh, this game is amazing. And that's the story of how I came into contact with this game. Riveting, I know. The games we used to find at Blockbuster. Back before Blockbuster was dead. The sea carries a fresh wind. From dawn till dusk, the wind pushes back the mist. Today, though, the wind behaves strangely. I hope this is not a bad sign. Well, there goes the death flag. Faded days. Time for you to get messed up by circumstance. Yeah, right. Ah, yes, good old iron. You were a child when the mist appeared, Vaughn, but now you are ready for the hunt. Time goes by so quickly. I have taught you all the techniques of Beerin and all your life. Do not forget them while you're hunting outside the village. Now then, Vaughn, do you want something today? <laughs> uh, we'll practice, dude. I see. Before we practice, take this. Vaughn now has a healing leaf. Now you are ready. Come at me. Got a magic leaf and a healing leaf. 
See, okay, the textures here are actually really good for PS1 times. That's fair. First, let's take a look at basic text. Select begin. So this is where this game actually was very different in any by uh, excuse me to any RPG I had played until you know I played this one. Um, you don't have your traditional like you know list where it's like you know fight item magic run. Instead, you have them put in map to uh, directional commands. So for instance, if I hit left, we begin. Now we have our you know attack item spirit, and then to the right would be magic. But, um, the way this game plays is you go into attack, and there are two commands here. So you can auto it, and the the PC will choose, like, you know, whatever input that you want to throw in. Or you can do command, and actually is, like, my favorite part of this game. So, we're gonna go command. Now we have combinations of high, low, left, and right. Now the fun thing about this game is, think of it as a fighting game, where different commands will chain together to make combo attacks. But that's not all. They went a step further and made it so that when you hit left, you actually punch with your left hand, or if you hit right, you punch with your right hand. If you hit low, you do a low kick, and if you do high, you do a high kick. And then not only that, but they went a step further and say like you're fighting a slime that's hugging the ground, high attacks will not hit it because it's out of its hitbox. Or if you're fighting a flying enemy, low kicks won't hit it because it's hovering. So like, uh. it was really fucking cool what they did with this. So now, for instance, like, one of the ones I'll always remember is left, right, left, because it's the easiest thing to remember. And then you go and you hit execute. So now... Okay, I guess we're not using uh, abilities just yet. Probably too early in the game, I was gonna say. So now we hit begin. And it's just giving you a quick little, hey, you know, this is how the game works. Uh, seven-year-old me couldn't grasp the idea of healing, so I always tried to brute force myself through all the fights. Now, Can this is... Before I'm dead. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, yeah, that's probably it, too. So, yeah, actually, I didn't have any AP. How's it going, DB Zero? I see somebody else who's played Legend of Guy and enjoyed the hell out of this game. So, the cool thing about this is, if I go into Command, I only had those three inputs. When I use Spirit, what happens is this. I gain more AP, and my input gauge is increased. So then, they're gonna try to have me do a Hyper Art here. Oh, so they'll make me do High, Low, High. So High, Low, High. And then, the other one is just whatever. And then, we execute. Because I get my ass handed to me. I'm right there with you, man. This yeah. game is a gem. Like, earlier in the stream, I was telling Tom here that uh, this game was actually overshadowed by Dragoon Legend of Dragoon and Final Fantasy VII because it came out around the same time era. We're going to keep practicing because I just want to unlock all the combos that I remember. Nope. That's all oh. you're allowed to do. God damn it. I guess hey. we progress the story. Are we going to see Dad? Yep. Oh yeah, her name is Nene. <laughs> it's getting late. What could he be doing? <laughs> just get out in the field and just... You know, try everything. I'm sorry, May. That Vaughn, I wonder where he's wandering around. It's alright, my father hasn't come back from hunting today yet anyway. I should be the one making hunting clothes for my brother. Don't worry about it, Nene. I just wanted to help celebrate this special day for Vaughn. God damn, dude. Well, look at the fucking rendering on her face. Like... From her eyes to her mouth, or her nose, it's just like a direct 90-degree no L angle. <laughs> yep. No block. We're good. <laughs> oh, May, can I ask you something? What is it? Are you in love with my brother? 
I'm just looking at the L block, and I'm wondering, like, their heads are all the same size. Why mm -hmm. do they put the L so much lower on the child? <laughs> Maybe it looks better from top down. How old is this child? <laughs> like, she's very shapely for a child. <laughs> what took you so long? May's been waiting for you this whole time. You're always wandering around with your head in the clouds. Let's hurry up and take those measurements. Oh boy. <laughs> Vaughn, hold still. I'll only take a minute. I knew it. You've gotten bigger since the last time I measured you. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> You're almost as big as my father made me bigger. <laughs> your mom your dad is apparently an absolute unit just looking between these two characters. It's amazing how quickly boys grow. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Thank you, Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn, little Nene, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Thank you, mate. Give my regards to Juno when he returns from the hunt. Give him a little cane. I will. An angry eye. <laughs> Look at his angry eye. Dude, Val's seen some shit. <laughs> he lost his wife. He lost Ruined his leg. Me. <laughs> Soon he's gonna lose his son. Did you think May properly? No. <laughs> oh, you're so hopeless. You're going hunting tomorrow, and that means you're going to be an adult, right? Well, if you're an adult now, you should mind your manners. What's going yeah, on, Dad? You listen to that child. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vaughn, but my hands are full. I'll listen to what you have to say later. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Knew I could count on you. <laughs> They're back. I mean, you know, I'm just people huh? in this town that his hands are full. <laughs> Especially someone who's like stuck inside. The hunters have returned. Maybe he's making. That would be good. By golly, they were gone a long time. Father, my father is back. No. Oh. My father is back. <laughs> father, you left to get milk ten years ago. <laughs> Welcome back, father. Did you catch anything? Just full we disclosure. A man in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually supposed to be a sad scene, dude. Uh, is he dead? Is that? Is that? It is. It's Juno. Mind you, Tom and I are horrible people, so... Apologies if things are supposed to make you feel a certain way, but Tom and I will always take the piss out of everything we can. It's the 90s graphic. I've been desensitized. <laughs> Dude, we should totally play, like, Wild Arms or something one of these days. Maybe. Actually, what about Hopefully. Lunar? I haven't beaten Silver Star stories. Well, you've also... There's a lot of 90... Got apparently beat. You haven't done Chrono Cross either. Yeah, that's another one. Father! I'm so sorry, May. I happened... It happened so quickly before we knew it. The mist came earlier than usual. If only we had a forecaster. You know, it's attacked by the Seru monsters. Also, I like how Vaughn has like a little fire wisp on the back of his shirt. Styling on everybody. Everybody else has the same character model. Yeah. He's ready to go. <laughs> DV Zero literally just said triplets. That's one thing I will always love about 90s like RPGs is the complete disregard for like individuality of the NPCs that they have, where they just cookie cutter the same model and just paste it. Everyone go, yeah, this will fucking work. You work with what you got, man. You've only got so much RAM. Yeah, right? <laughs> Father. Father, wake up, please. Please open your eyes. No, Father. No. It's okay. Our no. guy's just as big as him now. This is supposed to be a 
sad scene. <laughs> I just like the entire idea of Vaughn being completely, like, deadpan to the fact that her dad's dead. It's like, can we just get back to talking about how big my dick is? So, how are my clothes coming? Goes hobbles. The mist always takes the people we love. I hate the mist. Tell me, Father. Will we always have to live in fear of the mist? When will we be able to go outside the village safely? <laughs> I just want to know what was so important that this guy couldn't talk to his son. Yeah, right? <laughs> Father. Really? That was riveting dialogue. Vaughn. <laughs> their sense of worry for the future and their children, Ben. <laughs> that would have been like an amazing plot twist that Nene was the actual villain the whole time. Your little <laughs> demon child of a sister is literally like the linchpin in all of this. I mean, it would have been a little weird, but okay. I'm sure there's some turns we could take. Now, dude, that would have been like very 90s shonen anime. <laughs> Don't worry about me. She's calmed down considerably. Also, her dad just died. It'll be dark soon. We'll stay here with May, so go home and don't worry about her. No! I want to stay with May! I know how you feel, but Val and Nene are waiting for you to come home. Just say a word or two to May and then be off. <laughs> First, I'm gonna raid her cupboard. It's empty. Fuck. You they do. already raided it. Father promised me. He promised to take me all over the world once the mist cleared. Father, you promised. Okay, that's all the dialogue we get. The blood and dirt has been wiped from Juno's body, yet a fierce look remains on his face. Juno's funeral is tomorrow morning. Vaughn, don't worry about May. We'll take care of her. You go home. We will take care of May. Night is almost upon us. Vaughn, you must go home now. <laughs> yeah, the fierce look at <laughs> DV0 goes, he knows you're going to bang his daughter soon, so that's what the fierce look was for. <laughs> Even in death, he's like, I hate you. He just you like... Know, that's just what dads do. Every time the you know boyfriend comes over to pick up the daughter for the day, you gotta intimidate him a little. And what's more intimidating than a guy on his deathbed saying, hey buddy, you, you know zombies are real here, right? <laughs> Or just, I, will fucking hit you. I just like the idea of like Vaughn being complete, like the entire idea of Vaughn being deadpan to everything. He just like puts his hand on Juno's cheek and he's like, "Your daughter said I was bigger than you." <laughs> <laughs> Pull down these pants and compare. <laughs> I'm not calling your daughter a liar or anything. <laughs> we just got to know for science. Vaughn, you look sad. I understand. Juno is a kind man. Soon the mist will come. You must be tired. Do you want to rest? Yeah, sure, whatever. Good. Rest well, then. Wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> Dad's a dick. Vaughn! Wake up! Can't you hear the banging? Oh, <laughs> can't you hear that sound? Okay. Vaughn, wake up! The village on fire. Is this a call to action? Are you awake now? Vaughn, listen carefully to that sound. I think it's coming from beyond the wall. Would you go take a look for me? <laughs> a look for you? You mean take care of it? What are you gonna do? That's a good sign. But hurry back at first sign of danger. Well, there's danger right here in front of me wearing a pink bow. I mean... Ah, Iron's not here. I was gonna say, shouldn't the sensei be taking care of this problem? Yeah, I'm like, oh, never mind, there he is. <laughs> hey, Iron, how's it going? Christ, that shit's loud. I sense it. I sense the presence of evil outside the wall. Here you go, Tom. It's okay. Oh, Vaughn, so you came to check on the wall, did you? <laughs> 
wall has protected Rim Elm from the mist for over 20 years. Hopefully it will stay standing forever. No, I added 10 years. Ah, quite impressive. Look how many puny humans survive. What on earth is that? Pitiful creatures, you humans. Living in fear of the mist, you scream at the sight of a Saru shadow. Pathetic humans. You get it your hooded ass out of here. We don't like the KKK. <laughs> In this desolate place, you thought this flimsy wall would protect you from the mist. Humans, you are but insects. The time has come to abandon your foolish resistance. I am Zeto. I have come to bring the salvation of the mist to you miserable creatures. Hey, kick his ass. Oh, fuck. Humans, now is the time. Accept the mist! God, is he gonna mist all over everybody? <laughs> Man, look at them yeah. FMVs. On that day, humanity received a grim reminder. <laughs> yeah, no, I do like that. That it starts in like a post-apocalyptic age instead of like a everything was peaceful, and as you quest through, shit goes bad. It's a little bit more believable with all the shit that's probably gonna happen. The, the mist. Oh no! The accursed mist has entered Rim Elm. Is the mist the problem, or is it the thingies? It's the thingies. It is time. Seru, followers of the mist, it is time for you to attack. Seru, destroy that old eyesore of a tree. <laughs> Vaughn's like, no, not my favorite tree! <laughs> no, not the Genesis tree! How else will I play Sonic? Yep. I like how her being attacked is her just getting pecked. Save yourselves by accepting the serenity of the mist without resistance! Oh yeah, beat him up. Get him. It's a Gimmerd. Think fireworks on a man with a fire emblem on his back? Yeah, right. Nerd. Uh, let's see. Um, that was a good one. I think Pyro Pummel was good. Oh wait, whoops. Uh, that would be, I think, if I remember correctly, left, right, up, left. I think. I mean, there's a thing that says view arts, but I guess you've got to figure them out to unlock them on the list. Yep. Oh, here we go. Yep, Pyro Pommel. Eh. Yeah. Fill up. Get him again. Yeah, see? I only have two, and it tells you how much uh, AP each one takes. Uh, yeah. I can I can do three. Uh, I already have high, low, high. Um, high, low, left, I believe? It blocked both. I only did 12 damage that time. Fantastic. Um, shit. What were some of the other ones? Uh, I think left, right, left was one. Yep. Give him the hyper elbow. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I do remember these. Like, when they start hitting, like, level 2 and 3, they're actually more of a threat. Uh, down right up, I believe, was another. <laughs> I would not recommend it either. Um, 
I just realized, is this man wearing assless chaps? No, I think that's a belt. Uh, like a little yeah, tassel. Yeah, creeping over top of it, I think. Jesus Christ, this thing is destroying me. Falcon punch! Hell yeah. Got him. <clears throat> We're just gonna ah. quickly use a healing leaf here. Help out your sensor there. Vaughn, the Seru and the Mist are after the, the Genesis tree. I'll hold the Seru here. The rest of you go somewhere safe. Yuck, yuck. Subs up. Ah, oh, shit. I should actually go get the one item. So, the cool thing about this game is, uh, if you notice, when I engaged the Gimard, it had a little fire symbol next to it. Um, anything that has an elemental symbol means you can capture them as a summoning. Mm. Wait, do I now have five? No, I still only have four. Um, I think it was like three downs and an up was another one. I wonder if I'll actually hit him with these. Okay, yeah. Thirty-seven. Um. Let's see. I think uh, up, down, left, right, maybe. Nope, that okay. wasn't it. <clears throat> Let's see. What did I put in? Up, down, left, right. Oh, up, down, right, left. Let's try that one. There we go. Except it blocked it. Like, come on, dude. Been to win. Um. <laughs> Down, up. Up left, I think, was another. Like, I'm trying to remember half these combos. Like, as a kid, I, I remember just sitting there, like, spamming abilities, trying to, like, come up with new combo moves. PK fire. Oh, also, that's another cool little thing. If you are yep. in yellow or red health, your character will show injury at the end of a battle. I always thought that was a neat little little thing they threw in there. I like it. That was a nice touch. Vaughn. Look, I know your dad's dead, but I'm bigger than him, so we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they all went to check on the wall, but still haven't come back. Vaughn, what happened? The mist is here. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. You stay here. I'm gonna go get help. <laughs> oh no. That means the Sarah monsters will come into Rim Elm. What should we do? Let's go to my house. <laughs> Thank you, Vaughn. Maybe that would be better. Alright, take me to your house. <coughs> oh, wait a minute, Vaughn. Get to say goodbye to Dad. Father. The smell is going to be terrible once this is all over. <laughs> you did a good thing, Vaughn. You must have been uneasy all... May must have been uneasy all by herself. Ah, but... If my cursed body were not crippled like this... 
All I'm saying is we should probably take this <laughs> boat and just go on out into the ocean because shit's getting fucked up here. The wall is broken, yet all we can do is huddle together in fear. If only there were some place safe for us. Ocean boat. Let's go. Are you right? Would you like some medicine? Yeah, sure. There you go. Now you'll be all right. Oh, I didn't have to use my healing leaves. I could have just came and talked to Demon Child, who just with the blink of an eye can, you know, ease fatigue. Apparently magic it. Also, there is a random encounter system in play. Ah, yes. Ew. Green slime. So, on this, on this enemy, high attacks do not work. Why would you take your perfectly good things just in the field and use a random encounter system? Gross. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Then again, those things aren't moving, so... Come to think of it, I don't think any of the townspeople were moving either. I think this is another one? The first two attacks are gonna miss, which is really... Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. Uh, that thing... Hurricane. That thing just, just got destroyed. I don't even think I took damage that entire fight. We're just going to hit the save cave real quick. If you pray to the magic rock. <laughs> oh, magic, magic rock. rock. Deliver what me from sin. You <laughs> say magic rock. What should we do now? Nothing. Nothing. The rock has spoken. Oh boy, another gimmerd. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was um, s 11 abilities that you could get right off the bat. How many do I have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I have 10. What was the last one? Okay, so Hurricane, PK Combo, Spin Combo, Pyro Pummel, Cross Kick. I think the last one I had was Cyclone. I think it was like the inverse of cross kick backwards. So, low, high, high, high. Let's see it. There it is. Oh, to the face. Alright, so yeah, that's everything I can get for the time being. Alright. Do another 90 damage. Um, let's give him that. Really? Give him the Falcon Punch. Yeah. Oh, so, fun fact, when I was a kid, I didn't realize that everything they said when they attacked was in Japanese. I thought it was just a made-up language that the game developers made. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What is this mysterious language? <laughs> well, I mean... To be fair, like, the games that I had played back then were, like, games like Banjo-Kazooie and shit, so I was like, oh, man, they just created a language for this game. That's really awesome. <laughs> and then as time went by and I played it again, I'm like, that's not a made-up language. Vaughn, I'm so glad to see you. I was all alone. Now that your girlfriend is actually at your parents' house... I'm the chick from the save cave who told you that the stone would remember all your bodily experiences. Eh. Yeah. I came here to get away from the Seru monsters. Hey, have you noticed that the mist doesn't come in here? The Genesis tree is glowing. It's reading like some kind of amazing power. 
The Genesis tree is very warm, Vaughn. <laughs> Go ahead. Touch it. Vaughn gently touches the trunk of the Genesis tree. Something is <laughs> Something is gently speaking to Vaughn's mind. <laughs> Vaughn. Vaughn, you are Vaughn, are you not? Gee, I'm glad how everyone in this fucking village knows me, including the goddamn tree. Hey, you talk nice about magic tree, Dad. Oh, Jim, look at that. We're gonna call that down from the heavens, are we? <laughs> I have read your thoughts. I am speaking to your mind. I am Meta, a Rosaru. I have been waiting inside this Genesis tree for someone like you. I ask you, Vaughn, do you wish to save your people from the mist? Nah, it's fine. Good. By combining our powers, we will rid the whole world of the mist. Let us pursue the same destiny as human and Rosaru working together. Yeah, sure, dude. Sounds good to me. Vaughn, open your mind. Feel my presence. <laughs> Again, it's getting a little ravey. Well, I guess it's potential. <laughs> the approaching mist is killing the Genesis tree. I am too weak. I need the life force of the Genesis tree to be strong. To revive the Genesis tree, we need the power to change destiny. The power of the human spirit. Vaughn, hurry. Hurry and assemble everyone here. You just spirit bomb the fuck out of these people. Vaughn, what's that on your right arm? That's... that's a Seru. Stop, where do you think you're going? You can't go into the mist like that. If you enter the mist wearing a Seru, you'll become a Seru monster. Now just go ahead, I won't stop you. Yeah, right? Go on, don't worry about it. Ah, oh, things seem to be working out fine. Don't you do it. Don't you all, oh, you son of a bitch. Yuck, yuck. Burning your healing items when there's a perfectly good little girl with spiritual powers. <laughs> you're on the last boss and you're out of healing items, I'll remind you of this. <laughs> oh yeah, so now I have meta, but I have no magical skills for him. Gonna have to go back to that good old reliable magic of a fist and a foot. Oh, I can do six now. Oh, this changes things a bit. Oh, I can do five. Okay. Still, I think that works in my favor. Slash kick, and then I should be able to. Yeah, buddy! Okay, now chain two, six, uh, two, three combos. So long as the last one of the first one matches the first one of the last one. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, let's do that one again. Go ahead. I was gonna say, it reminds me a little bit, there was a game I played recently. I think it was like an indie game of some kind. But they basically took the fighting system and put it into like an adventure RPG. Yeah, and like... I, I like RPGs. Ahead. I like RPGs that like break the conventional mold of RPG instead of like, you know, ATB or turn-based. They actually try to implement a new system. That's why I think I like the Tales game so much, is because it was like real-time combat in an RPG. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit like this one was, um, because, like, this is turn-based fighter, right? Mm-hmm. The other one, I think, was called Shyness the Lightning Kingdom. Not a great game, I would say. I wouldn't suggest anyone go get it. <laughs> but it was just interesting the way they did it, because it was a real-time fighter, kind of like, um... You know the Naruto games? Mm-hmm. 
it was like that, except you would run around on the field, and if you came into contact with an enemy, it would form that kind of ring barrier around you, and then you'd fight in there. Hmm. Damn it. I'm trying to capture one. How do you capture it? I don't exactly know the true mechanic to capturing them, but I think it's you have to kill them close to their actual health threshold. And, like, I think overkilling them will prevent them from being captured. I could be wrong. The face. I figured they had about 150 HP, but... Uh. Yeah, I think it's like 90... I have no idea what that one was. Oh, no. I think it might just be a hundred then. Oh, good luck, son. Kick him in the nut. Oh, there we go. We caught him. One damage. Okay. Meta acquired the power of Jamard. So, okay, the cool thing about the summings in this game is you get them at level one, and the more you use them, the more they level. I think their cap is like level 5 maybe, but um, as they level they actually gain abilities. So like when you uh, summon Gamard he does uh, burning charge, but I think his added effect is setting an enemy on fire or something like that. Oh, your arm. Yes. He can you can you heal me? Gasp. Can you fucking nope. No, nope, you ruined it. Burn those leaves and then go to your save cave. Vaughn, Vaughn, what is that on your right arm? Is that a Saru? No, it's a raw Saru. So it's a raw Saru. Yes, I do send something gentle about this Saru. All right, tell everyone we're going to revive the Genesis tree. <laughs> okay. You never mentioned that to Vaughn. Yeah, right? Here you go. All right, Ron, Rimelm is engulfed in the mist. You and the Rasaru are our last hope. We entrust you with our lives. Everyone, raise your hands and give Vaughn your spirit energy. <laughs> The power of prayers is strong. Now's the time, Vaughn. Go to the Genesis tree. Vaughn, whatever happens, you must do your best. Thanks, Dad. Vaughn, I trust you. Brother. Alright, later, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Fucking Iron is over here fighting that. off 1v3. Look at this fucker, and you just sitting there watching. Vaughn, you are Rebel's last hope! <coughs> Awaken Genesis Tree. Remember the instant the heavens and the earth were born. Vaughn, you too must pray. Good. Harder. Pray harder! <laughs> I told you. To push harder. away the mist. <laughs> to revive the Genesis Tree. Open your mind. Pray hard. Let me get the different glory. Yeah, because I'm about to cast the spirit bomb on this fucking mist. Oh, there we go. Spirit bombing. Oh, no, we're just... We're growing. We just gave that oh. Genesis tree wood. Big boy now. God damn, look at those matted 90s graphics. It's almost as big as her father. <laughs> hey, well, what's that doing to Titan Voldemort? <laughs> Just 
gone. It's exactly like Attack on Titan. He just kicked in the wall, let in the little ones, and left. <laughs> Holy shit! Did Attack on Titan get their inspiration from this game? Maybe. Thank you. Thanks to Vaughn and the people of Vermelm, the Genesis Tree has been revived. The Genesis Tree has the power to drive away the mist and to make a Rosru like the stronger. Like me stronger, the mist has left Vermelm, but it still covers the rest of the earth. Many Genesis Trees wait to be revived. Vaughn, let us leave Vermelm together to look for those Genesis Trees. Why did we take ten years to do this? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Don't worry. He's just going to explain. <laughs> I've seen this before. How peaceful he looks. He must be dreaming about something nice. Vaughn. <laughs> I oh, like... no. What, what do you want me to do here? I make old man noises. Like... And our friend Juno. The hateful fangs of the Seru took their lives. To Ferti, god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. But Rem, our leader, our great leader, on your sacred wing, Take the noble souls of our friends to the Valley of Nuaru. May their souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant Valley of Nuaru. They float. Yep. It just, it'd just be really funny if the caskets just sank to the bottom like 10 seconds after being pushed out. <laughs> Push it. Yeah. I feel like for a small town encased in a wall, that's a waste of a lot of really good resources. Yeah, just like an outlet to the ocean. Oh, like, well, yeah. Say, like, the coffins themselves are way too ornate. Yeah. How many scouting parties have to go out to get that much material? <laughs> Push it, siblings. There we go. I mean, nothing's like wood and gold. I don't know what the bowls on the side are for. I think they're supposed to be flotation devices or like lanterns. <laughs> I would think lantern. Oh, look. It's sad. There's where all the budget went was to make May cry. Island. Hey, it Grandma! Is, I have to make silence noises, but you don't. This is bullshit. <laughs> Call my union. <laughs> Mommy, where are Juno and the others going? I mean, to the Valley of Noir. <laughs> like, did I not say it enough? <laughs> As old man? Jesus. This far, is why you don't get a away. birthday this year. Is Juno going to come back? Will he bring us good things to eat again? <laughs> the Valley of Nehru is very, very far away, dear. I don't think he will be coming back. What she's trying to say is that man's dead. That man dead as fuck. Okay. I have a good feeling that we're going to the Valley of Noaru. <laughs> which Gen means we'll bring bring his daughter back to see him. <laughs> Alright, Tom, here you go. Genesis Tree and Rosru. We had some pretty important things here in Rimelm. <laughs> ah, Rimelm is saved thanks to you. You were truly courageous. I thank you again, however... It's about our precious May. Her mother may still be alive inside the mist. You have pity on May, then rescue her mother. 
If you say yes, I'll tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> Will you do it? <laughs> hey, man. If you have pity on this poor girl, go save her mom. But I'm not going to tell you unless you say you're going to do it. So I'm not going to give you the deep unless you're down. Oh, thank you. Now, even May doesn't know this, but... Wait, why the hell are you going to keep this information from her? May's mother Maya used to work at Byron Monastery. Ten years ago, the mist came. And naturally, we lost all contact with her. As for whether Byron Monastery itself still survives in the mist, Fortunately, no one knows, but Maya's May's only surviving blood relative. On. With the Rasuru, I'm sure you can make it to Byron Monastery. On. I'm counting on you. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for May to give me my sponge bath. <laughs> one more thing, Vaughn. You should have been- Keep this a secret from May. You missed an opportunity to be like, ONE MORE THING! Like, hey, uh, one, one more thing! <laughs> we'll only be heartbroken if Byron Monastery has indeed been lost to the mist. <laughs> <laughs> Makes old man sounds as he shuffles away. <laughs> what he's gonna do from now on, he just does old man noises. The power of this Genesis tree will save us all from the mist, won't it? It has to. Thank you, Demon Child. Who's that broccoli looking piece of shit? <laughs> Fucking wait until now to solve the world's problem. Fuck that. The house is locked and you can't get inside. You don't want to. Trust me. That guy's been stewing overnight. Yeah. Look, these people are all in short sleeves and sundresses. This is a hot, humid climate. <laughs> they're right, right off the ocean. Yeah, I was going to say they're right on a beach. You know, it's not going to smell wonderful in there. Nobody should go in there. Well, they already shipped his body off to sea. I know, but he was in there all night. And these people don't have clean supplies. <laughs> There's no Clorox here. There's no Febreze. Oh, Vaughn, I'm glad to see you. Now that the mist is gone, I've decided to open my shop again. My son is helping me. Vaughn, the mist may have left the village, but beasts and Siru lurk just beyond the wall. You'll need weapons and armor. Shall I teach you about weapons and armor? Nah, piss off. Well, if you already know, there's nothing for me to say. Welcome, what would you like? <laughs> A survival knife, warrior seal, warrior boots. Why are boots more expensive than a knife? Well, a knife's just a single sheet of metal. The boots probably have, like, uh, a couple different sheets. More intricate working. Honestly, I would like to point out that nobody was using weapons to fight off the Seiru thing. And yeah. I was very disappointed. Including the hunters that supposedly go out there. These people kind of deserve to be called. <laughs> It'll say survival of the fittest. <laughs> so there's also a really cool thing that this game does that you'll see once we uh, head out. Thanks to the Genesis tree, no one will have to die anymore, right? No one will be killed by this air anymore, right? I mean, how long has this tree been in here and now y'all realize that it's like this miracle tree? Ten years. Are you not listening to me? It's been ten years. <laughs> I said twenty. <laughs> At that first one, because I was like, you know, ten years is not too believable, <laughs> right? This kid would have been like eight years old when all this shit broke out, and it seems like shit's been going wrong longer. Yeah. But everything apparently just crumbled after... Vaughn. Wait, Vaughn. Phew. Oh, I'm glad I made it. Here, I brought you the hunting clothes I promised you. I mean, are we gonna lose our sick fire patch? Fawn now has hunter clothes. 
And this is a gift for you, to thank you for rushing to check up on me yesterday. Vaughn now has May's pendant. Hey Vaughn, what's the matter? You're coming with me. <laughs> yes, I had a good cry. And making your hunting clothes took my mind off everything. Vaughn, I heard from the village elder that you're going on a long trip. Well, take care, and don't forget to wear the hunting outfit I made you. And be sure to come back when you finish everything- what, finish whatever it is you have to do. I mean it, you better come back. Or else she's gonna equip a roster and come hunt your ass down. I guess. I've never been good at saying goodbyes. So I just have- so I have to go home now. I'm sorry. I'll be waiting no. for you to come back, Vaughn. Alright. Okay. Uh, increases max HP by 10. Uh, yes, please. Percent. Does she ever join your party or as, like, a healer or something? Nope. Oh, that's sad. She's one of those Mary Sue shitty characters. Fuck. 90s game. Look at this overworld map. Just, just take it all in. Oh. Just drink in this entire fucking map. There's three more maps after this. Or two more maps after this. God, that's slow movement. Oh, random battles on the over map, huh? So, now, this is the cool thing about the game. Now do you note that Vaughn now has a weapon in hand, a seal on his head, he's wearing different boots, and his clothes are different. Like, I love that about this game, is that, like, equipping gear actually changes appearance. That is a definite increase in power. <laughs> That's some deep. Also, the fact that the Rosaru physically shows on the character model is really nice. Oh, also, when I go to summon something, for some reason the game just immediately jumps to 60 frames per second. Like here, we'll show you once I get into another fight real quick. Oh, good. Oh, whoops. Good boy. <laughs> running away. <laughs> You're strong. You're strong for me. I'm out. I did not mean to run from it. Come on. Whenever you don't... You might as well just keep walking where you're going. It's not like you're not going to get a random encounter. Scared him off. There we go. Oh, it's a surprise attack, too. I'm going to clap them gobu gobu cheeks, baby! This is fun. We did it! Um, I wonder if there's a way to check, like, uh, experience of summonings. Like, one of the most important ones you get is the healing one, because the side effect is that it cures status ailments. Solid.
Level one. I guess there isn't a way to look. We're just gonna quickly grind out like a level with uh, Gamard just because I want him to be able to do some damage in the next area. So deep. Does a little well restore your mana? Yeah, that's why I'm doing it right out here. Figured. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> what, giant fucking moths? Spraying him in the face. The glitter. <laughs> Not a butterfly. Ah, there we go. Magic level Evil. increased. And Vaughn's level increased. Perfect. Double level. Double buff. There's actually one summoning in this game that I really, really love, and I think it's like the third, uh, the second or third lightning summoning you get. Hovon, I'm glad you came. <clears throat> I'm impressed you made it here all by yourself. Yep. You're a hunter, people. Haha, <laughs> you're so confident. You're a lot hardier than us hunters. <laughs> Nerd. By the way, Vaughn, see that guy over there? He doesn't like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Don't know him? Well, we came here often, but this is the first time we've met someone else here. He says his name is Lazam, and he's was telling us the most amazing story. You Little see? Crazy eyes. Yeah, right? Vaughn, you should talk to Lazam too. Feels a little culty. There's a healing leaf inside the treasure chest. Vaughn now has the healing leaf. Would I just tell us that Vaughn picked up the healing leaf? Um, being too critical. It's fine. Clean water flows from the spring. Do you wish to drink this water? Yeah, sure. No, no, no. What delicious, refreshing water. HP and MP are completely restored. So yeah, this is actually like a really good grind spot for the early game. I'm called Lazam. I serve King Drake, ruler of Drake Kingdom. So you are Vaughn. The hunters have told me of you. You've done great deeds. You have my gratitude. <laughs> ha! No one- No worries, dude! Tell me why you're grateful of me! <laughs> Yes, this is about something that happened before the mist reached here. I was heading to Rim Elm under King Drake's orders to warn them of the mist. Yeah, good job, bud. But the mist caught up with me, and I became a Seru monster. From what I hear, it is your deeds that enabled me to become human again. This is why I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Drake is surrounded by the mist, and King Drake is surely awaiting you. Your powers. With your powers, our castle could be saved. Will you help us? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Please do whatever you can to save Drake Castle. Before I depart, the king has made a frightening decision. I hope he is safe. So, the castle surrounded by mist, right? Mm-hmm. How'd he get anywhere outside of the castle? Also, on the if over... He turned him. Well, Good. he left, and, like, the mist caught up with him and turned him. So it's not really surrounded by mist. I'm guessing. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll accept so, the cool thing about this game is that, on the overworld, you can save anywhere. That's good. Flying evil. Get it. I hope you're ready for the ass whooping of a lifetime! Yeah, see, my low attack didn't hit.
I wonder if any speedruns of this game exists. Oh, I'm sure. You want me to look up the time for you? Yeah, sure. I mean, I can only imagine it's like, you know, three plus hours because, like, the pacing of this game is rather slow. Unless they just ran... Well, no, they can't just run from fights. There is actual parts where you have to grind up levels. What's here? We've got the any percent, the 100 percent. Take a look at the 100. Like... Okay, the 100 percent is about just under 13 hours. Jesus. The any percent divided up into slot machines or no slot machines. Dude, this guy's castle has a giant portrait of a waifu. Guy knew what was up. Gerd. There's a sense of sadness in the eyes of the Seru. Vaughn, take a good look. This is a human possessed by a Seru. I have looked into this person's mind the same way I spoke to your mind. But the Seru controlling this person's spirit is too strong, and I couldn't make out any words. The only way to return the, these people to normal is to drive away the mist. I looked into his soul! The case says, contains Sunrise Key. Do you wish to open the case? Yeah, sure. The Sunrise Key is in the case. Vaughn now has the Sunrise Key. Oh shit, I think there's actually a summoning here that I can get to. Neither of those ones. Got a bone to pick with you. God damn it. Trust me, it won't get old the 50th time you have this random encounter. Yeah, right? Is that it? You pansy ass thing. Oh, wow. There we go, that's some damage. Nice. He's surviving. Whew. I just hope that, uh... I wonder if the other sum one of the other summonings is in this, uh, this area. It's one of the thunder summonings. Narf, narf. There's, there's a sense of sadness in the eyes of the Seru. Yeah. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Light him on fire and send him to hell. Would you say that uh, we got a bone to pick with these boyos? Oh, I think they're shaking in their boots. <laughs> oh shit, my MP is like almost non existent. Yeah, you get three. It's okay, just have your magic leaf. Ow, you bastard. Take a hyper elbow, followed by a power punch, baby! <laughs> he made a grave mistake. <laughs> that joke was very ghastly. 
gotta be careful. We've only got so many of these. <laughs> Need to last through all your random encounters. Juan inserted the sunrise key into the keyhole. The sunrise gate opened. There's a chest. There's a healing leaf inside the chest. Howdy viewers, welcome. On the bookshelf is a book titled Drake Castle's Water. Do you wish to read it? Nah, I'm good, fam. I came here to liberate, not read. Very interesting design. Paul the backhand. Okay, there's nothing actual low that hits. Oh, this bastard with his shield. Blah. Crap out of you. Oof, this guy hurts. Hey, uh, Meta, you want to do something about this guy? <laughs> Burning the last few MP there, huh? Gonna use the leaf. Yeah, but that boyo, that boyo does some damage. He already did 70 damage to him. You were probably set to fit him. Well, Gamard's now level three. Solid. So I will take that as a victory. For those of you just joining us, welcome. Uh, Tom and I are playing one of my childhood favorite RPGs, and Tom, being one of my better RPG friends, has never played this game, so. This is his first venture into what is possibly the defining RPG of my childhood. There's a the story for you. <laughs> ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. The case says the case says contains lightning key. Do you wish to open the case? Yeah, sure. Give me that lightning take key. This shiny thing. Why would I take something so beautiful? Yeah, right. Okay, two gamards I can easily I can, I can, I can work with this. Hmm, look at that, ten damage, baby. Eleven, oh, big contender. Give him the people's elbow. Slam him with the elbow and then give him the falcon punch. Oh boy, I'm now in yellow health. That's actually kind of concerning. You'll be fine. How much experience do you think you need to level? Okay, actually, that's not bad. His tail fire, which is his best attack, only did 13 damage. And I think I level. Yep. Wrong game. <laughs> Not to make fun of this game yet. Because this one was the defining game of your childhood. I wouldn't Sorry. say I wouldn't say defining game of my childhood, even though I just said that earlier. Um you know, you know, I'm trying to think about it. It would if you had said it was the pinnacle of your childhood. Well, I would say this was the one of the top three defining games of the PlayStation of my childhood. The other two being Blasto and Crash Bandicoot. Ha. <laughs> nice. I actually went back and tried to play Blasto. God damn it, that game has not aged well. <laughs> I can imagine. Like, the comedy in that game is great, but the... The controls and the graphics, not so much. Okay, that actually is a little concerning. Oh boy. Yeah, you're, you got a couple more hits. I'm surprised leveling doesn't heal you. Yeah.
Woo, lad. Kick him in the shin. All right, you know what? We're not going to chance it. Oh, you had it. Yeah, but I didn't want to chance it. That would have been perfectly enough to kill me. Uh, we'll see if, if one combo kills him. You had it. Oh, never mind. Apparently, he's faster than you. Yeah, for those who are concerned about what the static in the bottom right hand corner is, my uh, camera isn't working, so enjoy the static gif. Nice. Burn a magic leaf. Uh, no need. There's actually a restroom coming up. Restroom. Star key. Yes, please. We're just gonna run. Well, actually, what level is uh, Vaughn? Because he needs to be at least a certain level before I even think about uh, proceeding. I think you're four. Yeah. I think the level I need to be is ten. Oh, survival knife. I didn't have to buy one? Well, I mean, it's definitely helped so far. Yeah. Can't you just dual wield knives? Yeah, it's not like the survival knife was expensive anyway. Ha, ah, yeah, you. Uh, we're definitely not fighting you. Not about it. The fact that his block chance has increased because he's holding a shield, I like that mechanic, but at the same time, fuck that mechanic. Well, can your characters abuse the same thing? Um, I do think you get, like, an arm shield at some point. Is this where I need to be? Yes. Ooh. But they're surprised that. Yeah, we're gonna power up here, and then I think I'm gonna try and beat the shit out of that ghost. Okay, now I can't do what I wanted to do. I missed my Peruvian jams. <laughs> Let's see. Fuck! They noticed. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Ooh-hoo! Oh, buddy. I don't have a magic leaf. You got one healing leaf left, too. At least in cycling or whatever. I need to get rid of this guy. Alright, he's dead. Dead. Whew. Alright, the worst has come to pass. And now it's time for you, Skelly Man. Uh, we're gonna do this with this. The same input that I already had. Yes, 
That was a good chunk of experience. How much do you need to level? Uh, let's take a look. One of the linear, or is it an exponential? Uh, 1,338. Okay. Um, almost elite. <laughs> a letter in the treasure chest says, To the human traveler that finds this, do you wish to read it? Yeah, sure. Are you human? I am Drake the Third, King of Drake. I know not who will read this letter, but anyone who makes it through the mist must have powers greater than the mist. No doubt you have seen the Seru monster in this castle's dungeons. The monsters are in fact my dear retainers and the people of my kingdom. When the mist approached, we tried many ways to drive it back. We even prayed at the Genesis tree at Mount Rakora to the north. Legend says the tree has the power to save the human race. In the end, we decided to lock ourselves in the dungeon and wear Seru surrounding the mist. As Seru monsters, we should survive on Drake water until the day the mist goes away. We locked ourselves in the dungeon so the Seru madness would not force us to harm anyone. So, Traveler, I ask you to drive away the mist as we were powerless to do so. You are our only hope for the future, the hope that sustains us. From its closest, uh, <laughs> the Seru seems to have been one of the royal family. Vaughn, I have a feeling the Seru is King Drake. Look, there's a small key around its neck. That must be the key to the water gate. This fucking idiot. Mountain key. Oh, never mind. I guess we need the uh, water key so that we can proceed to the next area. Yep. Okay. We're blocked off by a uh, of a moat. Vaughn, the, this door, uh, the door to this room is quite strong. If you shut the door tightly, you should be able to rest peacefully in here. Do you want to rest? A wise decision. While you are. S while you are sleeping, I will stand guard. You know what? Vaughn, I apologize for interrupting your dream. There is something I must tell you about the Seru and my powers. That's right, the Seru. They are horrible creatures. <laughs> but the Seru themselves are not at fault. The Mist is responsible for all of this. I have special powers to use against the Seru. I can assimilate with the Seru that the Mist has made mad. The special powers of the Seru combine with my own, making me a powerful weapon. I have already absorbed the abilities of Gamard, the fire Seru you have fought. It is not always possible to absorb the abilities of a Seru by fighting it. Nevertheless, let's try to fight as many Seru as we can and hope we absorb its powers. You can use the Seru abilities by expending MP. <laughs> wow, very meta of you. <laughs> <laughs> when, to, <laughs> when to use it is up to you. Just remember that MP is limited. Vaughn. Limited fam, just go at it. Vaughn, you look so much better now. Ah, oh, thank you. You got a compliment. Yeah, right? Now hold up, you saying I wasn't looking good before? Yeah, right? <laughs> you just tell me this now. I'm a bitch. Ah, there's a fire book one in the treasure chest. Perfect, we're actually going to use that right now. Vaughn can now use the tornado flame move. That's him. So, the cool thing about this is, you know how all the other ones were just called arts? This one's a move? Yes. It is a hyper art. And I will show you exactly how strong hyper arts can be. More leave. <laughs> Druggy. Howdy, viewers. Welcome, welcome. Ah, perfect. This is actually the perfect time to use this. And it's a three-timer, so... Nice. Just use it off the bat. Yeah. Oh. Hyper... Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm not impressed. Well, the good news is that he can't block it. Oh, okay. 
and it does a decent amount of damage. That's true, for a three hit. Well, for a two hit. Sorry, three command? Is yeah. That better? There you go. Only thing is, is that it eats through AP like a motherfucker. Well, yeah. So now I can do this. For 203 damage. Solid. Can you see why kids love those? Man, ain't nobody can see that. Alrighty. Just checking this area real quick. Nothing there. Always time for treasure. I mean, you're not wrong. Why do they have to put the innocent tree up on the mound? I mean... Just think about it, the elevation should let it hit a lot of places. Yeah, but come on. Oh god, I got ambushed. Get him! Gobu gobu like I'm gonna clap them cheeks, boyo. Prepare yourself. They didn't get glitter bombed to the face. Oi! <laughs> He took your shit. And I'm poisoned. Alright. Alright, fuckboy, come here. Before you run away with my shit. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> and now you... Wait, what? Only 87? Eh. I feel cheated. <laughs> Seems about right. I'll be back in one moment here. Alright, um... I think this is actually gonna... Yep, we'll... Put the controller down here for a second, because I'm going to go grab some water and pee. Alright, sorry about the hold up, I am back. Tommy there. Alright, so I guess we're waiting on Tom. 
Uh, so, to the people watching, how are you guys doing during this uh, time of social isolation? I'm sorry, social distancing. If you're there, Dan, I'm back. Okay. I was literally, I literally just swapped to the please stand by screen. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. Vaughn, I sense the presence of a Rossaroo like me. Let's hurry up to the top of the mountain. Our friends. Our friends must be there. What friends? We've never been outside the fucking village. Yeah, that's weird. Up, oh, going into the mountainous butthole. Fires of Mount Doom. <sighs> ah, I see. We're switching characters, are we? Yep. No. Uh, okay. Better. Is Saw this... the N, I was a little worried. <laughs> Her name is just N. Captain N, the Game Master. Noah. 
Noah. Where are you? Your mother needs you. Noah. It's so dark here, Noah. Why did you leave us, Noah? <laughs> no, I want to see you. I need you, Noah. Wake up, Noah. You can't sleep forever. It's time to get up. Man, look at that polygonal wolf. Shit. Shit, baby. It smells like the 90s in here. Noah, you look like you were having a bad dream. Eh, no. Oh, I guess you just don't want to tell me about it. Yeah, pretty much. Listen to me, you must always remember your dreams, no matter how pa painful they may be. Dreams tell you about the future. Alright then, time for practice. Come with me. So now we are introduced to our second character. Not gonna save there, are we? In the save cave? Oh, magical save rock. What should we do? Nothing. I'll hail the save rock. Make it snappy. No, I have much to teach you. Now follow me. God damn, this is one bossy ass wolf. How much health does she start with? 150. God damn. She is. I'll say that most talking wolves usually are pretty bossy, Mike. In your experience. Not saying like stereotypically, I'm just saying statistically. <laughs> no, I have taught you much, but I wonder if it's sinking in. So now it's time for a test. The first question is When the mist is around you, what is the combination that results in chaos? Well, Tom? Human and animal? Yeah, that usually does. <laughs> I mean, I know they're saying Seru and human, but let's be real here. You gonna tell me these animals out here aren't trying to kill me? <laughs> a Seru touched by the mist begins to act on its own, and it possesses the human that uses it. So you must be careful. Now I will leave you, and I will be waiting up ahead. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Answer me this riddle, <laughs> these riddle three. All right, cool. Later, bye. It's a big-ass cave full of nothing. Uh, well, there's the dog. Now for the second test. Listen carefully. What is it that when it is... What is it that when it is revived, uses powers from another world to push back the mist? The Book of Genesis! <laughs> a geneticist! Genesis. <laughs> That's right, Noah. Soon you will be entrusted with the reviving of the Genesis trees. Okay, like, she gets a formal education in, like, what the fuck she's supposed to do, while everything else is just thrust upon Vaughn, like, hey man, you touched a tree, go save the world. I mean, I guess ours, Ra, Saru, whatever it is, lazy by comparison. <laughs> How soon that day comes? Took a ten year nap and then said, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Again, while this one gives you, like, a formal education. <laughs> you now have the healing shroom. So, she lives in a cave, talks to wolves, and eats shrooms. I don't like how they say the healing shroom, like it's gonna last longer than one use. Now for the last question, listen very carefully. Which Genesis tree is closest to us? <laughs> I think it's this one? Ah, oh, there we go. The Genesis tree at Mount Rikuroa. Rikuroa. Mount Rikuroa is located south of this cave. Although now we are trapped inside Snowdrift Cave, someday, someday, the day will come when you and I will go to Mount Rikuroa together. No, I look forward to that day with eagerness. It's being stuck in this cave with you and all these fucking mushrooms are driving me insane. Now come with me. After using the mind, it's time to use the body. Time for training. 
I don't like where this is going. Son. It's not the girl hallucinating the wolf. It's the wolf hallucinating the girl. <laughs> Listen to me, Noah. We're going to practice fighting. As I have always said, never get careless during practice or you'll get hurt. Touch the red pura or black pura sticking out of those holes to start fighting. If you're not confident, fight the red pura. If you're confident, fight the black pura. Ready, Noah? Begin. Get it? Black one, huh? Mama didn't raise no bitch! Oh, she can do four right off the bat. What you combo? God damn, look at that fucking uh, command bar. So she can do five. Um... I think she had up, down, up, and then another one was up, down, down. So let's see if that works and gives me two. It did, but god damn it, it blocked everything. Not too confident now, are you, bitch? No, because it's literally smacking me for almost all my health. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> Jesus. Please, no game over. Just let it be Terra being like, yep. What are you afraid of? I won't let you leave until practice is over. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess we start with the reds. I know that's one, and I think another one is right down that. Let's see. You know, it doesn't help that it's blocking, like, everything I have. Squeak. Aha! So you are injured. Hold still while I lick your wounds. Uh... Nice. I don't know. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Watch more hentai. Ah, you're right. Shit, you got me. Um... I think another one was... That? Yep. Like, a lot of these characters share almost the same inputs for some certain moves. I think one of Vaughn's was that. 
and it just blocks everything. And then, if I'm not mistaken, the inverse is also true for them. Nope. So it looks like there's only three red. Yeah, there's three red and two black. It's like the black ones. You gotta break your old school mentality and start using those healing items. Well, I need to level up first. Oh, wait, no, I did that one wrong. There we go. I think this was the most important move that she has. Yes, it is. That move charms enemies. Solid. Definitely a benefit to have during a lot of these fights, especially the one where you have to fight two boss monsters at any given time. So, you literally... Hell no. I still have two Black Pyrrha to kill. didn't charm it. At least you blocked the other one. Yeah, that's a good thing. Sadly, there's no, like, inputs that you can do to perfectly block things. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... Yeah, actually, no, that's good. Except it blocked everything! This fight's going nowhere. There we go. And we leveled up. May have heard of dubs. Be even slow step. I bet you ain't never heard of birds. <laughs> That's actually like one of her better standard moves because um, I think it's a standard five hit. Nope, I still have one more to kill. Oh, wait, they respawn? Alright, well, we'll just kill this one for the sake of brevity, and then we'll head out. You got goofed on. Yeah. 
Oh, baby, we can do six now. Um, I think she had a very early six input move. Uh, I think it was that, and then I think it's three ups. There we go. Hell yeah, we're in business. All right, now that we can do that, we're good. Prove greatly. Perhaps there's no more I can teach you by spoken word. Now it's time for me to tell you everything. No, let's go over there. I must tell you something important. <laughs> Fly over there. I think it's over. We lived in this cave for some time, but that's the biggest earthquake yet. Noah, the wind. The wind is blowing. A hole must have opened in the cave. Be careful, Noah. It's the mist. They're out there in the mist. Noah, we quickly, we must hurry. We'll follow the wind to the Genesis tree. Hurry to Mount Rikuroa. Hurry, Noah. We've no time to lose. Follow me. Well. Shit has gone awry. Oh, a blue pura. His is not the drill that will pierce the heavens. Okay, never mind, it is. There we go. That's the stuff. I like how she does the fucking chicken dance when she wins. How's my health looking? Um, almost down by a hundred. But that heals by two hundred. Oh boy. <laughs> God, she's so generic, like Yankee, you know, female protag. Is this video game appealing to the male fantasy? <laughs> Always. Oh, okay, that's the one I was looking for. So that's one of the lightning summons. Pikachu! Yeah, pretty much. me <laughs> well it just took the fucking me. <laughs> you know as a kid I always wondered how her outfit worked 
As an adult, I still don't know how the hell her, her outfit works. Not paying attention. Looks like there is Sarah up ahead. I can feel the wind blowing here. Do you know what that means, Noah? It means we can go outside. Let's head from, from Mount Rikuroa and the Genesis Tree. Tara has joined your party. Piece workout leotard with a uh, an arm and leg warmers. Yeah. There we go. Mystery HP. Good way of saying unkillable. With that attitude. I like how it has like a ball sack hanging off of its back. At least they had the common decency to make their eyebrows the same color as their hair. The decency. So what you're saying is if this character isn't a natural redhead, they're at least committed? I guess. Are you sorry? Yeah, right? Talking all that good shit a second ago, then you got kicked in your chest. Terra's team? The fuck do you mean Terra's team? Yeah, his team. Like I said, the wolf's hallucinating the girl. Terra did jack shit. She killed the blue Pyro by biting it twice. Like a champion. Alright, so I guess this is where we try to make our way to Vaughn. Ooh, lad, that is a lot of enemies. Maybe you should charm one. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Oh boy, that nine damage. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Hell yeah, it worked. That's right, beat the shit out of that slime. Fight for your queen. At least none of them divided.
Terra just sat there and did nothing? Yeah, apparently it's not his team, so, uh... <laughs> he's just fucking off. Okay, at least Terra keeps me alive. That's good. <laughs> Terra just sits there and is like, yeah, what do you want me to do? I can't. I'm a dog. And then this one's just like, up, oh, I exist. I'm a dog. So we're just gonna get back up to 100 AP. While this guy just stares at me creepily. Never mind. <laughs> Terra's like, you're taking Man, too long. Terra's team won the fight, baby. Let's go. <laughs> waiting for his chance to steal the victory from you. <laughs> you know, I it's... just I just killed everything, but you just come in and take the last hit and you're like, you did this? I did this. Would have been dead without him. Mount Riku Roa. Ah, uh, yes. Pumpkins and bat. Very scary. <laughs> well, there's pumpkin, bat, and bat. <laughs> bat only does four damage. Don't eat it. There we go. It's charmed. <laughs> like, why you gotta attack my wolf? What would you be more threatened by? The little girl or the wolf? It's just going after the wolf! Give it the old... And this one's just sitting there. That one's just sitting there. Why do I even have you on my team? Put the healing. Give him the old dolphin attack. <laughs> it's just like, they exist. That's it. I mean, the wolf tank and damage for you is pretty good considering how tanky this thing is. <laughs> it was having none of that shit. I do need to capture a Vera, though. Vera is the healing monster. Solid. And the best part about it is um, you can use its magic outside of combat and it'll level it. So all you do is you just get into a fight outside of, like a healing area. Use the bat to heal you. Replenish your MP. And then just rinse and repeat. Solid. Worm. Nobody likes Everybody hates Guess I'll eat this one. <laughs> Thank you, dog. And now that thing's dead. 
Get out of here. Oh no. He's inching over. <laughs> Well, you know what they say, the early bird step gets the worm. Uh. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Before we go into the butthole cave. The butthole? We must talk to the save rock. Bud hole. Yeah. A <laughs> hole for your buds. <laughs> Escape's foundation seems unstable. Yeah, no shit. Those are some big words for someone who was raised by wolves. Scarlet Jewel? Increases UDF. Well, whatever UDF is, I now have 20% more of it. That was close, Noah. This cave won't hold much longer. We're almost at the summit. Don't stop till we're there. Just hit him once. Holy shit, that hurt. 17 damage? Doesn't seem that bad. Oh, it was only 17? All I saw was my yeah. health drop into yellow. <laughs> I saw the colors and I was very concerned. Oh, this thing's dead. Yep. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swiggity swooty. I'm inching for that booty. Dare I do ah. something? Not that. He wants to heal. Locked. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now this thing should be dead. Hell yeah. 245. 245 damage. Wait until I can hit Tree Fitty. Tree Fitty. <laughs> Damn it, lock this mom. Damn it, monster, get off my lawn. I ain't giving you no Tree Fitty. Could you just Power go... water. Dude, I didn't know Power they were thirst. <laughs> they were trying to sell propel here. Plus four attack to an ally. Power thirst has electrolytes. We'll hold on to that for now. Actually, no, we'll use that now because she will definitely need it. No, I know that was rough, but hold out just a little longer. Look, the exit is right there. No, it seems we must fight him if we wish to get out of the cave. Okay. It would be funny if he could just walk around him. Yeah, right? The golem. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like 39 I. 39 damage. I just ran up to Terra and was like, this wolf, I'm going to destroy it. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't sound like it would be fun to fight. 
There you go, Terra. Use your wolf teeth on the soft rocky bits. Yeah, right? <laughs> Wait, what? It's not what I put. Ho! Oh! It is now. Holy sh! Ah, blocked. There we go. Much better damage. Yeah, right? Yeah, you just keep punching the wolf, dude. <laughs> I mean, that also works. Looking a little bit like you didn't need that bonus attack damage. Yeah, apparently not. You don't let the dog tank at all. I now have the guardian water. Ooh. Does it have electrolytes? No. Does it ain't power thirst? <laughs> that shit out of here. No, the cave is about to collapse. Follow me. We just gonna leave this guy to die? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh yeah, he's dead. Dead. No, that was close. You did well. I envy you. You are always so full of energy. I'm sorry, but I'm a little fatigued. Let me rest here a while. No, we've been through... We've been together for a long time. Even in this horrible environment, you've grown into a fine woman. I'm very proud of you. Now I must tell you something important. Listen well. You may not you may not know, but wolves like me do not normally speak. I'm telling you. Ones that speak are usually kinda dick. <laughs> I am actually a Seru. A Seru attached to the head of this old wolf. I Terra who saved you from the mi oh shit. <laughs> you fucked it up. But don't confuse me with these common Seru driven mad by the mist. I may look like a Seru, but I am a raw Seru. I'm impervious to the mist. I wanted to watch over you until you were a little older, but that's not possible anymore. This wolf has reached the end of its life. The wolf will die soon, and if I stay attached to it, I will die with it. That's why I brought you here, to this mountain. With the power of the Genesis Tree at the summit, I can transfer from the wolf to you. Then I won't have to leave you all alone. That is my plan. I've decided to stay by your side until you find your real parents. Now this mean old wolf is fully rested. On to the summit. Yeah, I'd be tired too after getting beat to shit by a giant rock golem. Hold on one second. Then you were all what? left with... Don't you wipe me like that. I'll smack your little butt. Go downstairs. Your dad has two cases of water. He's going to carry one. Do, do, do. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Killing our runtime, just kicking at the bottom left there. Never gonna make 13 hours at this rate. God damn.
Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Alright, so we'll just get through this segment. And, uh... We'll call it from there. Because it's already getting pretty late, too. That's fair. Alrighty. Let's see. A phoenix. The whole phoenix! The legendary... The bird of legend just chilling in a chest. It probably has some electrolytes in it. Is that like a resurrection? Huh? Yeah, it's Is a that resurrection. Is a revive item? item? Yep. That's silly. Won't be a phoenix down or a phoenix feather. No, no, no. Wait, what did I use that used MP? Uh, maybe you just leveled and got MP. I guess. There we go. God damn it. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> the movement of this thing is so excruciatingly slow. Can you leave my right wolf alone? Okay, good. It, it worked. <laughs> Jesus. Mr. Wiggles. Alright, now that we've managed to successfully CC one of them... Yeah, this poor fucking wolf, dude. Having his mind completely overtaken by some sort of stone parasite. Then getting his ass kicked by everything, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if you remember this, but do they ever explain why the Rosteru are different than the Seru? Um, it's not explained yet, it's just that they are have like special properties that uh, help them resist the mist's control. But they do explain it, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, that's a little, okay. We'll let it slide then. <laughs> oh loud. Oh loud. No, I don't want to auto it. I want to just kill this damn thing. Damn, close to 300 damage. Thank you, Terra. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. What's the zoo that noise? Yeah, right. Oh wait, shit, I'm an idiot. I've been on the standby mode for the past like five minutes, so that entire fight was uh censored, so to say. Ah. I apologize you for had that. Any failures from the people. God, I am I am on top of it today. You are. Good job. Ah, here we go. Well, they didn't miss anything important. Here's the important thing. No, this tree. It's the Genesis tree. This brings back memories. This is the tree through which I came to the human world. I was sleeping inside this tree, then suddenly... 
I was awakened by the sound of a baby's cry. That baby was you, Noah. Your body was too small for me to attach myself to you. So instead, I chose this wolf. I was gonna say, did the dog just come up and pee on the wrong tree? <laughs> yeah, this poor wolf just comes up to, like, you know, freaking relieve itself on the, gen the Genesis tree, and this fucking stone parasite alien is just like, yeah, this'll do. This'll work. <laughs> now that's enough talk of the past. Come on, Noah. You gotta get out of this dog so it can die having lived a life unlived. <laughs> no, there's nothing to fear. Come this way. Ha! <laughs> Those Rossaroo fools. Is it Chuckle? No, oh, it's Chuckle. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Chuckle and do himself. What eyesores they are. I will show them the consequences of helping those pitiful humans. These animals shall know pain. <laughs> it was I, Zeto, who destroyed your pitiful little camp. Had you submitted peacefully to the mist in the Seru, your suffering would have ended. So be it. If you insist on struggling so miserably, then I will finish you off now. Attack, Karubin! Rip them to shreds with your fangs. <coughs> God, that voice hurts my throat. It's the manticore. You, Seru, slave of evil, be smart and go away now. This world is for human beings of compassion. This world lives on two things, peace and love. Could you reverse in. that for the copyright, or what? Yep. <laughs> Kill them. Oh, there's the wolf. Noah, I'm sorry. My mistake. I was careless. My strength, unfortunately, is nearly depleted. <laughs> that was too easy. You don't fight as tough as you talk. Karubin, this girl is yours. Do with her as you please. Alright, hold the phone there, Zeto. <laughs> enough hentai. Alright, Deus Ex Machina, your friends are in trouble. <laughs> Once we're at the top of the mountain, our friends, our friends must be there. Alright, we'll kill Karubin, and that's where we'll call the, uh, stream. Because I think that's a good enough stopping point. Oh, you just hopping all over the place. Yeah, dude. Ah, perfect. I actually Somebody need you. Skip like that. How much damage can you do? Did you ever watch uh, Harmon Quest? Uh, no. It was pretty funny, I suggest it. I'll but, have to take a look. Uh, Dan Harmon's the guy who does a lot of the writing for these different shows, Rick and Morty, uh... Yeah. Oh, I caught it! Hell yeah! The college one. Nice. That's actually super important because that one heals you. But anyways, he goes with uh, two of his friends and one celebrity guest, and then one friend that's uh, game master, and they play D and D together. And the first kind of boss that they were fighting to stop was Manicore. Mm hmm. There we go, that's what I was trying to get to. Pressure. Oh, Speed Elixir definitely has electrolytes. <laughs> babies! You'll have so many babies! 400 babies! Uh, I don't need you guys, but hey, I welcome the, uh... 
the experience. Lots of chef. <laughs> oh, loud he coming. From the nip. Get out of here. Oh man, 11 damage. I should probably heal and level up my Vera. Did burn all that mana before the ball fight? That's it. <laughs> he was not impressed. Talking Wolf came through here about half an hour ago. <laughs> You're only the second weirdest thing he's seen all day. There we go. Oh good, my level increased. Yeah, I'm not hurting enough to warrant, warrant a healing magic. I'm a little surprised that he did, like, the I'm hurt anime. Yeah. Treasure! Oh, a healing bloom. Two gold to bloom. Actually, I think that's the way I need to go to, you know, get to Gamard, so I'm act I mean, to get to, uh, Ruben, so I'm actually going to go the opposite direction and grab whatever items may be on the other end of the cave. God damn it! Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to heal after this one. That wind cutter looked really familiar. Yeah, it's the same move that the uh, the ghost did in the castle. Yeah, I'm thinking a completely different game. Oh. Another one you're a huge fan of. Quest 64? Yep. I mean, it's possible. There we go, fully healed. Well, I mean, then again, Quest was also a game I grew up with, so... Well, I thought it was just kind of funny that they matched so much. See, my thing is, they give them voices, but they don't have voiced cutscenes. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, again, that whole memory issue. It's easier to put, or less memory to put, repeatable lines that you know are going to be done, like... Yeah. What? Three or four per character? Yeah, true. I mean... The same reason as, like, they're fully kind of fleshed out in the fighting, but on this, there's a polygonal. Yeah. 
I mean, when we eventually end up making whatever RPG Maker game we make, I want to do voiceovers on them because I think that would be really cool to have. For now. Like, there's never going to be a problem of uh, memory shortage. Oh, yeah. In our day and age. Now, yeah. Not for that, at least. Alright, Boyo. You're the first one to die because I don't like you. You do way too much damage. I will pull. Get him! Fuck him up! Make him regret being born. <laughs> yeah, he is. I also like how the uh, knife is like designed to look a bit like the Kokiri blade from fucking Zelda. I can see it. Aha. Uh -huh. Jumpy, jumpy. Oh, Beautiful. that was sneaky. Alright, uh -huh. aha. The Von Fist. Well, that's weird. I could have sworn this was attached to my hand. I wonder, would they have changed the name of Von Fist if you changed the character name? Probably. <coughs> okay, I knew there was a reason I actually came up here, so... I wonder what it looks like now. I think it's just like a power glove. Wow. Yeah, it's literally just yeah. a power glove. Bring from the nip. Ooh, that did some damage. Nice. Looking like a double wide surprise. But yeah, like I said, that's one thing I've always loved about this game, is that your appearance changes with your equipment. Fair. Like, I've always enjoyed games that have actually taken the time to, like, you know, showcase that your equipment is more than just a stat booster. Like, I think there's a part where he gets, like, a two-handed sword. <laughs> and it's, like, a giant freaking claymore. He actually uses it two-hand, or he um, just has it? He has it, and it makes his uh, weapon arm input uh, twice as big. Hmm. So you get more physical attack power out of it, but it eats up a... Uh, it increases the amount that you need to use certain abilities. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we need to heal after this.
I like how this thing has wings, but it just chooses to walk on its wingtips instead. <laughs> wings can't generate enough lift to get his fat little body off the ground. Apparently. I just hope uh, this levels up my Vera to cure uh, abnormalities. There we go. Yeah, one heal left. Use it wisely. Oh, a surprise attack. Mess him up. How much would that suck? You're minding your own business and some dude just like comes up and does a burning fucking uppercut to your butt. Yelling at you from behind in Japanese. <laughs> Hits you with a thousand years of pain. I'm getting my AP up so that way when we go into the next fight I actually have decent amount. Fair. I was gonna say you could probably just spam one attack. Yeah. Yeah. Burn any? You mean like that? Yeah. <laughs> My arm hurts. I must have broken my goddamn tendons. <laughs> or whatever. 20 times just punching all these rock monsters, bats, caterpillars, skeletons, punch right. of stone, plate armor. My fist is shattered in like 42 places. Uh, okay, let's see. Well, let's see if we are uh, of level to take on Karubin. If not, I'll do some off-camera grinding. Terra, concentrating. <laughs> meta, it's meta. Meta's here. God, these people like to repeat themselves. Meta, <laughs> I'm glad you found yourself a nice child too. Vaughn? Uh. His name is Vaughn? Vaughn, please help this child. Help Noah. Well, I and guess. And yourself a nice child, too. <laughs> Vaughn, mm. let's go. <laughs> Noah, let me help you. The Manticore. Lap fight. Alright, boyo. I hope you're ready. Because the pain train's pulling out of the station. What you got, son? Two sixty two. Oh! Ooh, to the face! Hmm. Looks like she's your attacker of choice there. <clears throat> huh. 
<laughs> and again. Yeah, except Vaughn took the brunt of it. Solid. Yeah, let's use this. Uh, I'd use the other one first. Oh yeah, she didn't take a lot of damage. Yeah, she's definitely my attacker at this point. <laughs> Basically, you're just using the items on him. Charging up with her. Yep, and then just unleashing my big hit with her. Yep. God, Vaughn, you're so pathetic. Yeah, now, now I need to use your... Yeah. yeah. Assuming he doesn't get an attack. Okay, good. Whew! It would be a very odd choice if item use isn't first turn kind of thing, first priority. Yeah. Both attack that turn. There it is. Yep. So you had about a thousand HP. Got another healing bloom out of it. Solid. Whew. That fight took me so long as a kid. <laughs> Had to learn items. Noah, you've done well. Now please, take me to the Genesis tree. Fine, let's help them. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna sit back and watch this, you know, 120 pound girl try to carry this 80 pound wolf. <laughs> God, it will be funny. All right, Vaughn, let's give our strength to the Genesis tree. Silence. Vaughn, where are you going? I just want to talk to the save rock. No, no saving for you, mister. Vaughn gently touched the trunk of the Genesis tree. Harder. Vaughn feels a gentle warmth in the palm of his hand. Mm -hmm. Awaken Genesis Tree. Recall the instant that the heavens and earth were born. We grow broccoli up in this bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that broccoli. With them 2D textures to um, that are layered to make the illusion of 3D. Yep. Maybe. Get some broccoli up on this mountain. God, I miss the 90s. <laughs> what simpler times. I miss times. Bojack Horseman. <laughs> oh. Good thing all these people get healed at once. Yeah, right? Because you want a few to start eating the others. Could you imagine, like, one person's just out of range of the healing wave? Oh, like this guy. In a cage with the zombie.
<laughs> I mean, it obviously sucks for the people stuck in the cage with the super zombie. Yeah, but look but at this guy's man. That guy. Look at this guy's mustache. Solid. But imagine being the super zombie. Yeah. And you finally get healed and you're just in a cage full of dead bodies. <laughs> this power is just what I needed. Alright, Noah, let's go. Just detached yourself from the wolf. And now. Oh. Noah, listen well. You and I are now one. You now possess magnificent powers. You and Vaughn must go on a journey to search out the Genesis trees. The journey may be difficult, but remember that I will always be with you. I like how the wolf is still there with the fucking thing on its head. I think that's just supposed to be like a thought of the wolf or whatever. Yeah. But now, there's just a fucking untamed wolf sitting next to us. <laughs> with the power of the Genesis tree, Meta's level increased to level 2. <laughs> yep, no, Noah, you mustn't follow her. <coughs> the wolf is a proud animal. She's going to find a place where she can die alone. <laughs> God damn it. Vaughn, will you take me with you? Yeah, sure. Good. This <laughs> just ends into that good. So I won't be alone. I'll be with you, Vaughn. Vaughn, let's return to Drake Castle. I'm sure the people freed from the mist are waiting for you. What were you, raised by wolves? Just one. I wonder if more monsters show up here or not. Oh, wait, no. We just used the Genesis tree to fucking drive out the mist. I mean, aren't they still, like, beasts? No. That's weird. Well, maybe, like, animals, maybe? I mean, there should be, but... I've got a feeling there won't be. Alright, do we want to end it here, or do we at least want to end it at Drake Castle? Eh, we should probably end it here. Alrighty. So, guys, I, uh, it's been about... three hours of us streaming, so... I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we are definitely going to get back to this because this is one of the games that I absolutely loved as a kid and I still love to this very day. Um, Tom, your thoughts so far? Uh, pretty standard RPG. Interesting combat system. I like, will reserve judgment on story until we're much further through it because that can be a harsh critic on RPG. That's perfectly fair. Like, I'm not going to say this game has like the most stellar story but, like, what really drew me into it was the combat system. Um, what I do want to do is... Tom and I are working on uh, reviews. So I want to review this game as well once we get through it. And I will probably end up using, like, footage from our playthrough for that video. Um, so we'll give ourselves, like, an in-depth review and, like, you know, what they did right, what they did wrong kind of thing. But in order to do that, we need to beat the game first. So uh, being that we're now in quarantine and there's really not much to do uh bank on us finishing this playthrough and then maybe doing some other like i don't know 90s rpgs anything you want to say at the end there tom nothing beats a quarantine with a quarantini god damn. Fun, everybody <laughs> later guys thanks for tuning in